We are back with another monthly wrap-up of some of the weird, bizarre, and even scary news to come out of Japan over the last month. So what happened over the last month or so? Let's take a look. Number 1. Let's start the month with a little light news. Have you ever ordered a pizza and thought to yourself, man, I really should have ordered some for my dog as well? Well, fear no more. Once again, Japan has you covered. Pizza La has stepped up and decided that no dog should go without undelivered pizza anymore, and you can now order the Wanko, or doggy pizza, for your beloved pooch. Because, let's be real, if anyone deserves it, it's dogs. This Wanko pizza went on sale on September 9th, and can be enjoyed by both doggo and owner alike. They include ingredients both safe and tasty for dogs, including teriyaki chicken, corn, mushrooms, chopped seaweed, and a special dough that includes chicken as well. I don't know about you, but I'm sold. You can grab one now for just 880 yen. Number 2. It's no secret that Japan's population is getting older, and this month, they hit a new record for the largest number of people over the age of 100. The Ministry of Health, Labour and Welfare announced on September 1st that the number of people aged 100 or over in Japan has now hit 95,119 people. This number has been on the rise every single year for the last 54 years, hitting yet another record and rising nearly 3,000 people from last year. According to their statistics, 83,958 are women and 11,161 are men. The oldest woman is Itooka Tomiko, who is currently 116 years old, and the oldest man is Mizuno Kiyotaka, who is 110. When asked for the secret to his long life, he said, I have no idea. I don't understand it myself, but I'm happy to have lived this long. Number 3. In some rather interesting news this month, police in Hyogo announced that they had arrested a 38-year-old office worker from Amagasaki City for stalking. And who exactly was it that he was stalking? Well, turns out it was his own wife, who he is still happily married to and lives with. The man's wife reported to police that she was receiving harassing phone calls, sometimes in excess of 100 a day. The person would call but say nothing, which naturally frightened her as the calls kept coming and coming. But the woman became suspicious when she realised she never got these calls after her husband went to bed, or when she was using his phone to play mobile games. She went to the police and they discovered that it was indeed her husband calling her with his number withheld. When they asked him why, he said, I love my wife, so I made the silent calls. Right. Probably just easier to turn to her on the couch and talk to her, but hey, what do I know? Number 4. A 31-year-old man in Kodiyama City, Fukushima Prefecture, was sentenced to two years prison last month for secretly filming women at an open-air hot spring in Yamagata City. According to the indictment, the man hid in the mountains near the hot spring this May and took photos of 44 different women changing and bathing with a telephoto lens. But that wasn't all. The man also disguised a camera to look like a rock and hid it in the hot spring as well. It's actually scarily impressive how well this was disguised. He admitted to all charges, but the prosecution asked for such a harsh sentence because he had filmed over 1,000 people and was likely to re-offend. Despite showing remorse and even bringing his own evidence, the court agreed and the man received a two-year sentence, suspended for five. Number five. Penguins are adorable creatures, and of course, while they're not native to Japan, you can find them in various zoos and exhibits around the country. As it turns out, one adventurous penguin by the name of Penchan 
decided it was time to blow the establishment and fled her confines for what I assume was two weeks of freedom and wild abandon. She escaped on August 25th from Himaka Island, just off the coast of Aichi Prefecture. Organisers of the temporary penguin exhibit let the birds swim in the ocean, inside protective netting, while they packed everything up. But Penchan said, screw that noise, and took off for the adventure of a penguin lifetime. She was briefly spotted at a nearby island, but by the time they got there, she was gone again. Her handlers feared that she wouldn't survive in the wild because she has spent her entire life in captivity. But on September 8th, two weeks after her daring escape, Pen Chan was found chilling near Shin Maiko Marine Park by a worker there, 45 kilometers away from where she originally escaped. Although she had lost a little weight, she appears to be in good health, and her handlers are now keeping a close eye on her before she's allowed to appear in any exhibits again, to make sure she's truly okay. Number 6. The Animelo Summer Live event was held once again this year over three days, starting August 30th and ending September 1st. This event, held annually every year since 2005, sees a variety of singers and voice actors show up to perform both anime and video game theme songs, amongst others. It's pretty darn popular, and naturally attracts a large number of fans. Many of whom bring with them, of course, glow sticks. It's not an anime concert unless you're slinging your light sticks around, after all. Well, this year, Lumika, a company specialising in recycling these glow sticks, said that they had collected a whopping 345,000 of them from the concert. Yes, you heard that right. Apparently, that comes in at around 10 tonnes of glow sticks, and it's the highest amount they've ever collected from a single event. Impressive. That means that over 100,000 glow sticks were used each day of the event. Truly a sight to behold. Number 7. A tweet went viral this month for a picture taken at a Japanese Starbucks. The picture was of the deodorizer found in the toilets, but it was the sticker on top that made it, well, terrifying. This deodorizer is made from customers and beans. Yikes. People debated in the comments about what the terrifying deodorizer was probably trying to say, as well as sharing amusing pictures of people, well, being turned into deodorant. Hopefully it was just a typo on the store's part and they were only trying to inform people that it was made from the customer's leftover ground beans, and not, well, the customers themselves. But hey, there's a horror movie right there just waiting to be made. Number 8. Jankara opens on the site Sakamoto Ryoma died is certainly one of the headlines of all time. But if you've ever wanted to sing karaoke where one of Japan's most famous samurai was killed, well now you can. Sakamoto, one of the most influential figures from the Bakumatsu period, was assassinated at the Omiya Inn in Kyoto on December 10th, 1867. Of course, that inn no longer exists, and instead you can now find a new karaoke branch from the Jankara chain on those grounds instead. Because of course. Inside, you can even find rooms recreating the assassination. Because of course. If singing some modern pop songs on the site where one of Japan's most influential figures died sounds appealing to you, well, it's open now. Number 9. An article published this month announced that posthumous divorces have been on the rise in Japan recently, and experts suspect this will continue to rise in the future. But if your husband or wife has already died, why divorce them? Well, it seems it's being done to completely sever ties with their family, and the majority of these divorces are coming from women trying to get away from their now deceased husband's families. Many women in Japan, particularly older ones, are still expected to look after their husband's parents even after he has died, 
because they are, by law, still considered to be family members. And so, a rising number of women who have found themselves in stressful and even expensive circumstances after the loss of their husband are instead choosing to divorce him, or perhaps more appropriately, his family, after he has died. A lawyer specialising in these divorces noted that views on marriage are changing, and nowadays, most people consider marriage to be a bond between two individuals, and not necessarily a uniting of two families. The Ministry of Justice reported around 3,000 of these divorces in 2022, and they suspect that number will continue to rise as others decide to part from their in-laws following a partner's death. Number 10. Finally this month, good news! You may remember the tragic tale of the dragon's tail from last month that had to be removed from the ramen store in Osaka. Well, that tale has found new life and lives on once more. Well, for a limited time anyway. After being cut down from the Kinyu ramen store, the offending tail was given to the Osaka Kanigen store, just 15 metres down the road. Now, their giant crab statue happily chews on the remains of the tail and allows visitors to continue to enjoy the spectacle for a short while longer. The dragon, now missing its tail, was also repainted with tears in its eyes for full effect. Both stores are hoping the spectacle will draw more visitors to Dolton Body, and I don't know about you, but I'm sold. It seems the display will only be up until October 10th, so if you're in the area, get in quick. And that's just some of the weird, bizarre, terrifying, and also kind of funny news that came out of Japan last month. But what about you guys? Hear of anything odd or terrifying? Weird or funny? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.